Okay, we're at the gate of Princess Wenshan Temple. We're at Tungula Monastery, just about 20 minutes outside of Yushu Town. And uh, this is a very modern monastery, built in the last 20 years, but certainly one of the most beautiful and ornate monasteries I've ever seen. And uh, we're just walking around here. There's a little monk ceremony going on inside, which is really spectacular. They're giving away honors for which monk is highest in their class. In today's video, we'll be driving from Yushu down into Nangchen. Nangchen is probably one of my most favorite parts of all of Qinghai province, located right on the border of Sichuan province and the Tibet Autonomous Region. This place is rugged, it's beautiful, it's full of yaks, and it's full of wild Tibetan cowboys who roam the hills on their horses. So we're headed from Yushu to Nangchen driving, and this is the high pass. Along the way, you can see it's super sunny. Ooh, it's bright out. My eyes are like, well, kind of squinting. And uh, yeah, we're here at this high pass. Prayer flags, just stopped here for a minute, and uh, it's beautiful. As with many high passes here, you can see the, the uh, Mani stones behind us. These stones are inscribed with sacred Tibetan prayers. Oh man, I just had three huge Himalayan vultures just fly over my head. It's super hard to capture them on this camera because they're so fast and a little bit far away. But, uh, oh, beautiful. We just walked by a Himalayan vulture nest and uh, this is just wild Tibetan territory. One of my favorite things about Nanchen 
is that it has these rugged rock walls that go up into these 5,000 meter mountains. Beautiful coniferous forests, amazing Tibetan wildlife. You can find Himalayan golden monkeys here, Tibetan wild ass, even snow leopards roam these mountains. Tibetan blue sheep, Tibetan blue bear, so many amazing animals. What a beautiful area Nongchen is, and it's almost totally undiscovered by foreigners and tourists at all. Located in a remote part of the Kham Tibet region in Nongchen County, Gar Monastery is set one of the most beautiful locations of any monastery on the plateau. This monastery was founded in the 18th century and is located at 4,000 meters above sea level, directly above the Mekong River Valley. Most of the monks here are quite young, at around 25 years old, and there's about 100 monks in this monastery. Welcome to Jodrag Monastery. This is another beautiful monastery located right on the Mekong River. This monastery was founded based on a meditation cave of Guru Rinpoche, who brought the teachings of the Buddha from India. Here you can see the Milarepa Pavilion, which celebrates the nine stories that Milarepa built to please his master Marpa and to become his disciple. This monastery has beautiful views of the Mekong River and also has about a hundred monks inside of it. The monks are very friendly and a lot of fun to hang out with. Okay, we're here at Drug Drug Monastery. It's a beautiful monastery right on the Mekong River.
This is Ben Cubbage from Elevated Trips. Thanks for traveling with us in Yushu, Nangshan, and Kam Tibet. And subscribe to our channel for more videos. Check us out at elevatedtrips.com. We'd love to bring you into the beautiful wild places of the Tibetan Plateau.